Hello everyone, I'm Zheng Feng Zhuang from Yamavision. The subject of my talk is Methodology to Design Mobile Based Camera Lens Using Freeform Service. In this presentation, I will provide an overview of Freeform Optics Design Methodology. Then, we will give camera lens design example using symmetrical freeform service. After that, an anamorphous cinematic lens using non-symmetrical freeform service will be given. And finally, I will summarize our research. Freeform optics has attracted much attention from optical engineers because it can afford high degrees of freedom in optical design. Freeform optics have been widely implement to realize complex irradiance distributions and increase image quality in image optical systems. There are three main approach to realize the freeform optical design. The first one is to calculate the surface nominal. The discrete pointer are fitted as the starting point and then follow optimize in combination with classical optical design approach. However, this approach is unpractical in finding the optimum solution and will lead us to inconsistent results. The second solution is to combine a predefined optical description with traditional optical system, such as the Q-type service, the link polynomial, SY polynomial. The results highly depend on the starting point. Another approach is to consider complex freeform service descriptions. An optical service description considering local basis function was present. A modified Zernick polynomial was introduced to represent tiered service. An, an error or fabrication processing was adopted to stand for the description of optical service. As shown in these patterns, many camera lenses using S-shape optical elements. This S-shape optical element have different curvature directions from the center of the surface to the edge. Because a pedal curvature is identical to the S shape aspherical surface, in this work, we represent a pedal based freeform surface description for replacing the S shape optical element. Similar to the construction of aspherical surface, the sack or the freeform surface can be represented as a basic surface with a linear combination of pedal function. We propose extended order freeform surface and even freeform service. These services are programmed in using defined service. This figure shows the start design starting point. The camera lens consists of six plastic aspherical elements, including one S-shaped optical element. Uh, the stop aperture is located between L1 and L2. The target specification are listed in this table. We choose 16 megapixels as an image sensor. The camera lens is to provide a wide angle field of view. And the F number is about 2.0 to improve low light performance. In the first example, we design a compact camera lens by extended order freeform service. As shown in this layout, the lens using eight even aspherical service and four extended order freeform service. The FOV or the optical system is about 121 degree 
the F number is about 2.06 and the TTL is about 5.4 millimeter. It, it shows a compact structure. This figure shows the MTF. The value of the field are greater than 19% at 220 cycles per millimeter. And uh, fig this figure shows the distortion grid. The maximum distortion is about 24.7%. In the second example, we design a mobile-based camera lens using an even pedal based free phone service. This figure shows the even pedal based free phone camera lens at optimization. The free phone service are placed at the first service or the first animal, as well as the first and the second service or the last animal. The FOV or the optical system is 121 degree. The F number is 2.06. The TTL is about 5.3 millimeter. The center figure shows the MTF performance. And the right side figure shows the distortion grid. The maximum distortion is about 24.4%. We will provide an anamorphous cinematic lens example using non-symmetrical freeform service. Generally, 16 by 9 is the standard for most digital cameras in video mode. There are two ways to display 16 by 9 video on a 4 by 3 video source, and some certain compromises are required. As shown in left side figure, Black bars are at on the left and right side of the display image. Alternatively, the display image should be cropped from the picture or video to meet the 16 by 9 widescreen movie format requirement. And it leads to the resolution loss in the vertical directions. And the morphy lens should be a good means to provide a 16 by 9 aspect ratio in a 4 by 3 aspect format without sacrificing resolution. The feature of the anamorphic lens is aimed at compressing horizontal information from the user scene while maintaining the same vertical information. As shown in this figure, it comprises of two groups of optical elements with double curvature service, which have different radius or curvature in two particular symmetrical planes. It is indicated that the lens group has no power in YZ plane and optical power in SJ plane. The anamorphic ratio is defined as the ratio of the optical focal lens in the SJ and YZ plane in the parallel approximation. This flow chart shows our design strategy. In the first step of optimization, the cylindrical service are used to achieve 1.33 anamorphic ratio. Then the cylindrical service are converted to anamorphic aspherical service to correct aberration in the vertical directions. The sample field are at across the entire field of view as the optimization processing progress. At the final stage of optimization, the anamorphic aspherical service are converted to SY polynomial service to further improve the image quality of the system. The order power coefficients of S and Y in the polynomial are set to zero because of symmetrical. This figure shows the anamorphic ratio distribution of the cinematic lens, which the design anamorphic ratio of 
1.33 for the anamorphic cinematic length of the dust corresponding to a range of anamorphic ratio between 1.01 and 1.999 due to the variation or distortion across the entire field view. The anamorphic ratio is about 1.33 at the central field view, and the ratio increases as it approaches to the edge field along the horizontal field view. The ratio reduces as it nears to the edge field along the vertical field view. The red line represents the anamorphic ratio. It's computed along the S equal to 21 degree. The anamorphic ratio is varied from 1.11 to 1.46. And the black line represents the anamorphic ratio. And it is computed along Y equal to 19.5 degree. It rises from 1.02 to 1.48. The tangential MTF and sagittal MTF are mapped across the full field view at 110 cycles per millimeter spatial frequency. The MTF values are over the 45% at point at field. It is demonstrated that the MTF are gradually reduced across the entire field view. Thus, the smoothness of the MTF indicates that the SY polynomial surface is smooth over the entire field view. This figure shows 2D relative illumination. The relative illumination is reduced because of wide field view and large image size. The relative illumination is over 27% along the horizontal direction and over 44% along the vertical direction. The relative illumination is about 15.9% at the corner field. The RMS spot size is assessed over the full field view as shown in left side figure. The RMS spot radius is within the range of 0 micro to 6 micro, and the maximum spot radius appears at a corner field. Additionally, one of key, key parameters of the camera lens for mobile application is lighter color. The lighter color ranges from 0 to 4.4 micro over the full field view. The result shows that a large lighter color happens at the edge field along X direction. A large lighter color on the edge field along Y direction is offered for this design. To conclusion, we present an approach of geometrical shape modeling scheme to represent symmetrical waveform optical system in mobile-based camera lens. And then we propose extend all the uneven pedal based symmetrical free from service descriptions. To design examples using all the uneven pedal based symmetrical free from service were provided. In addition, we report a mobile based camera lens using anamorphia free from service which 1.33 anamorphic ratio in a parallel calculation, we then analyze the 2D field map or image quality and a cinematic lens. I would like to thank you for taking time to listen to my presentation.